How about if you do your first deal within six months and you're able to structure three paydays worth over $60,000? Hey guys, it's Chris Pree. Welcome to another Deal Structure Sunday. I have with me certified coach and High Six member, Mr. Mike McCready's from California and Randy Pickering, uh, Randy Starter Associate from upstate New York. Did I get that right? Yes. All right, cool. So welcome guys. Mike, Mike welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the good news we're, is we're, Mike- We're cooking here. We're getting some, uh, some deals done with uh, all of our associates, so I'm uh, excited about it. That's what I was going to say. The good news is for the, for the, for the viewers, if you're new or not, uh, you know, Mike's a certified coach, not only doing his own deals, but now his students are cranking deals and that's good to see. And Randy, not just a deal, but your first deal. So congrats, my friend. Thank you. May you have many more. All right, uh, Mike, let's go over this uh, basics and then we can ask Randy as we go too. And you guys can chime in. Um, I want to just go basic first, like the source of it. And then, uh, some paydays and then we'll talk about anything weird or nuances or challenges that came up. So what's the source? Randy, go ahead. This is your, uh, this is your source is expired. Correct. Yes. Uh, no, this actually was a, um, this is the FISBO. Uh, it's a FISBO that, that Les Hudson actually got me. Okay. So VA, yeah, VA, VA yeah. FISBO, important distinction. Thank you. Um, and from the, I know you might not have the exact, but because FISBO sometimes take time, from the time Les gave you the property information sheet and you actually got an appointment, do you remember roughly how long that was? Um, yeah, probably, uh, I talked to the guy several times, so probably uh, a month. Okay, not too bad though for a FISBO. And then what was their motivation? Uh, do you guys remember? Well, yeah, it's a rental I mean, it's, property, right? Let's kind of go back a little bit. It's a rental property. They already have a tenant in there, a good tenant paying, uh, you know, the rent on time every month, no issues with them. It's just, they're kind of tired, right? Of, of, they just kind of want to cash out, right? They're at that uh, point where they just want to cash out and be done. Uh, interesting enough, this house has four different people on the deed on this one that, uh, that, you know, had to sign off on it to go forward with the lease purchase. Oh. So, you know, it's the husband, the wife, because they, they inherited it from a grandfather, right? Is okay. that what it was, Randy? Yeah. So right, the grandparents yeah. owned it before. So you got the two granddaughters on it and uh, their parents. So four people we had to uh, go through on this thing. And so Randy, uh, sorry, kind of cut you off there, but that that's kind of like the background of it. Uh, they wanted uh, originally, uh, what was the price they originally wanted on this house, Randy? Uh, I mean, he originally was asking, uh, he wanted 139. Um, you know, he was, he was asking for the house. He was asking 139. We bought it for 124.9. 124.9, you tied it up, and this is going to be a, a lease purchase, so a sandwich lease in upstate New York. Correct. It is free yeah. and clear. So the way we structured wow. it, um, they wanted, you know, stay on the deed and all that. So, uh, what we did was we, uh, figured out the taxes and insurance what would be on it. And then we backed out, uh, the remaining, uh, profits on there that they were getting. So they were getting eight fifty a month on it, on their rent. Okay. And so that's what he wanted to get right per month. He wanted to keep the amount the same. So out of that eight fifty, uh, 500 of it is going to be principal pay down. Okay, so let me just clarify for the viewers and for my own sake to ask you guys the right question. So he was used to getting 850 rent, but after he got his rent, he would pay taxes and insurance. Correct. Correct, yes. Okay. And okay, so then you said you structured payments on the 1249, even though it was a lease, he didn't want to relinquish a deed, so you couldn't do on a financing, but right. you're doing 500 a month principal only? 500 a month uh, principal pay down. All right, we're giving him 850. You are giving him 850. Okay. We are giving 850. Uh, 350 of it's going to cover the, the, the taxes and insurance, right? Oh, so he's still going to pay that. He's still going to pay it. Uh, okay. So we're doing it. It's, it's basically a lease purchase is what we're doing on a, on a free and clear home, right? So yeah. Yeah. Instead of paying the bank. Right. So 500 of it is going to principal pay down every month. Sweet. And this is a five year deal. So 60 months. Six grand a year times five years. Okay. We're looking good with the numbers already. I'm getting excited now. Yeah. So, uh, we have it on the market for uh, eleven ninety nine, basically twelve hundred. Uh, we should get that, if not really close to it. So we're looking at three fifty spread per month, 
And then uh, we we got it as Randy said for 124.9. Uh, we're we're selling it for 139.7, so about 15 grand on the back end there. All right, so let's do this. Uh, whether 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 the, it gets edited and whiteboarded out or not, I want to make sure we're clear. So, yep. Um, payday, uh, payday one. I don't know what you guys assume for a percentage. What do you? What, what's payday one looking like? Well, I mean, I mean uh, go ahead, Randy. I'll I'll I'll, you, I'll, I'll, I'm just looking at uh, you know 10. percent So I was That's, figuring uh, 14,000. Yeah, you, up front or over time. So 14k. Payday two is simple. It's the 350 spread times 60 months if it goes full term. And what's that come to? You guys do the math. Yep, that one's 21 grand. Three, 1821. Yeah, 21k. The back end, you got about 15 markup, but then you get about 30 principal pay down. Right. Correct. 30,000, yes. If it went five years. So that's another 45. Yep. All right. So we were low on my opening of, oh, well, I said over 60, but this deal's uh, 60, 70, 60, 80 grand. It should be, uh, no, you take but, out payday one. So it should be like right at, um, yeah, that's we, right. We, we had sixty-seven thousand. Yeah, 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 sorry, I didn't pay. Yeah, we had it at sixty-sixty-five-eight because you figure uh, right if you, yep. if you put everything together, it should be sixty-five-eight. Okay, so uh, any nuances that you guys can think of other than four people on the D that you had to co not not convince, but that you had to get signed off with? Uh, any other nuances on this deal that could be lessons learned? Well, it's one that kind of um, Randy was massaging. I like to put it over time, right? It didn't, they didn't sign right away. We kind of had to uh, go over the benefits and things uh, with the other members of the family. Uh, the, the husband, the, one, the main person who we were talking with, uh, he was mainly the one on board from the beginning. It was just a matter of getting the rest, uh, you know, on board with him. And so what did that look like, Mike? What did you guys have to get on? This is important to, for the for the viewers to know as a coach and as Randy as an associate. Did you guys have to get on the phone together? Did you each, you know, how did this look? You know, I actually, uh, no, on this one, I didn't get on with Randy. He was handling it pretty well. We did, uh, I did consult him here and there as far as what to say, what to do next on the next follow up. But other than that, he handled it pretty well. It wasn't like I said, the, he was on board with it from the beginning. It was just a matter of getting the rest to go with him. So, um, yeah. just staying the, consistent the, with the it. only reason, the only reason why I was able to do it was he says here and there, if it wasn't because of Mike coaching me and basically telling me what to say before I went there, uh, <laughs> I would have never done this thing. Uh, I wouldn't uh, have so you call them each step. I, pro I probably would have. I mean, well, what happened was is the guy's a morning person, so he always wanted to meet in the morning. And because, you know, Mike uh, and I are different uh, time zones, uh, I talked to him, but I, I could have, I would have no problem calling Mike. He would have got any hours I needed. Uh, he was fantastic with that. But he, he basically instructed me. And if I had a question, I would call him. Um, I, like I say, if it wasn't for Mike, I would have not. I probably, it wouldn't have went as smooth, let's put it that way, that's for sure. So you know what's cool the way you said that, Randy, and Mike can chime in on this too if he wants, but you guys, you know, it, it's this gap I always talk about on, on every, almost every video I do with the time between when someone learns a seminar or a course and does a deal, there's a lot of upfront for the first like two or three deals for both parties, both of you, because of that. And then you start to break loose and you, you start to crank and then you only need Mike for higher end deals. There's a lot of that that goes on. I think the importance can't be over. Uh, uh, emphasize so i don't know you guys other than what you just said i don't know if you have any other comments on that it's just i think it's so super important to tie to the associate community and into your coach yeah and i would think no matter pretty much once once you get it i mean you're going to run into little things here and there but once whether the house is 139,000 or 700,000 it's it's potentially the same type of issues that come Spot on up. yeah um, you know, and, and he was great. I mean, I, if I had an issue, I called him and we went through it. But uh, uh, it also helped that the seller was, he was pretty good. I mean, you know, he had some questions, uh, but, you know, we, we had a pretty good rapport from the beginning. So, uh, you know, I think it I think it went pretty smoothly. He had a house that he basically is sick and tired of renting. Uh, he doesn't want to be a landlord anymore. He didn't want to do the upkeep on the house. You know, your typical 
typical deal. And, and what and happened to this tenant? Of it. Pardon me. Oh, the tenant is the tenant's actually still in it at this point. Um, he's he's fantastic. Um, he actually thought about uh, buying it himself, but the problem is, is I mean, it's he's got he's got uh, four kids and a dog that's a great dane the size of a horse, and he just decided that you know he, it was he okay. So Pete, it, so. piece this together for me then. So you guys are going to start showing it. And then that tenant's going to leave, or what's that looking like? Uh, they're they're moving out at the end of the month, right? Oh, right, right. They're moving out February first, and, nice and actually, he, at this point, he's helping us uh, uh, have my first first showing tomorrow, and uh, he actually is going to uh, uh, show it for me. He's he's pretty good, so yeah, good, real good. Um, anything else that you guys can think of? Nuances, lessons. No, it's just uh, you know, only only in America can you make you know sixty five eight on a. $139,000 house. Well, I just said on an yeah. interview this morning, Randy, I don't know when it'll air. It was on, um, I'll give the guy a plug, uh, uh, capablewealth.com. And I said, he said, why entrepreneurship? He's not just real estate. And I said, well, where else can you go? Like we, I said, we have students that make like 70, 80 grand a year. And then they go do a deal and they get 80, 100, 200 grand on a deal. Where else can you do that? Even if it took you three years, but it took you six months. But I said, where else could you do that? That's why I said to him, would you guys agree with that? No, oh, yeah. absolutely, yes. It's like at that six-month mark, uh, things start to click and fall into place, right, Chris? I mean, we kind of see it. I see it across the board with the other associates that I'm coaching. And, um, you know, as long as they stay consistent from beginning, I mean, you might get s some deals, you know, you know, within two to three months. But uh, consistently, it's that six-month mark where things start to fall in place, Uh you understand things a lot more. You have a lot more confidence, I think, with, uh, you know, when you're talking to people on the phone and in person and uh, things just start to go your way at that point. So um, it's like clockwork almost. And then I remember uh, yeah. you, got, you guys probably remember, too, Zach did that awesome piece at, at the QLS Live event last year on the Associates Journey. Uh, it's ridiculously predictable when someone says, I'm getting this challenge or I'm getting this challenge. We know exactly where in the cycle they are without even checking when, when their contract started. It's the same stuff if everybody's doing, you know, if all things being equal and they're working. So, Randy, this does work in, in upstate New York then? We oh, fantastic. Yeah, no question <laughs> about that. I mean, it's a matter of time. And, and you got to remember that um, I, I, I also was uh, working. I mean, I have an insurance business and between October and December, yeah, I'm, I was out straight doing that, and Mike was fantastic, and he kept saying, you know, just make sure you keep doing, don't do nothing, just make sure you keep doing what you have to do, um, and, you know, if you do what you're supposed to do, and, I mean, and Les is a huge help, too, Les Mason, the VAs are fantastic, because he's always working for me, um, but, yeah, there's no question about it, the system definitely works, it's, I mean, you have everything done, and if you just do the system, it works. I love, I, I was saying that somewhat facetious, but, but I also, from the answer, got the part-time thing and that was good. You brought that up. I forgot to bring that up to you because everyone asks me, everyone like, what if I'm not full-time? Well, no kidding. Most people are not full-time. Mike didn't go for two years full-time. So thank you for bringing that up. And I brought the facetious part up about your area because uh, I spoke at a rear in upstate New York and two people who clearly were trying to find obstacles to doing deals said, well, you don't know how it is in upstate New York. I don't know if you can do I said, no, it's going to work great if you decide to do it. And, of course, they haven't done a deal yet. Why? They, they haven't bought our system. They have not talked to anyone. And they think it doesn't work in upstate New York. We've got I like mean, four. I think, up, I, I think upstate New York's a fantastic area. There's, uh, I mean, there's a ton of people. There's a couple of real big rehabbers up here. Um, but, you know, a lot of the people that I talked to, and I actually started doing that. I rehabbed a couple houses myself. Um, but but a lot of people you talk to, they, they don't want to sell their house for 60, 70 cents on the dollar. No, that's it's why I love what we do. Most people. Exactly. Yeah, calling them. Yep. Awesome. Well, Randy, I want to say congrats again. Uh, I hope you're going to be at, and I hope to see you both. I know Mike's going to be there at the um, Business Scaling Secrets event. Um, I definitely will be there. Awesome. And I got my tickets. You already got your tickets. Let me ask I you, is this tickets. then? We'll wrap up with this, Randy. Um, in a in a capsule, why should the viewers be at the business scaling event and how many events have you attended? Um, I mean, I attended I attended one before I actually I had QLS and I attended one before I came an associate. 
um, the business scaling event last year. And I went to QLS, of course, so twice. This will be my third event. Um, I, I mean, the speakers are phenomenal. Uh, I learned so much at the events that, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, the taping, I came and I've watched the taping uh, a couple of times, parts of it, because, you know, it, it, to try to soak all that up, there's so much information that it's almost impossible. But uh, so I definitely would say if, if people are on the fence, uh, no question about it, go to one of the events, you can learn a ton. I appreciate that. And you said the taping, you're talking about the raw footage, right? Correct. You sent us the raw footage. Yes. Okay. So I want to bring that up because the, the associates got put in their resource center, the complete raw footage of the live event for no charge, because we want to constantly add value to do what? Constantly do more deals. That's our mission. Right. Mike thoughts on events uh, as a veteran. Well, I mean, I always go back to it again that, I mean, the, for the cost and for the, your time, I mean, you're going to get so much value, not only from the speakers and the presenters and, um, or any one of us, but just talking to the fellow uh, investors who are there and people who are in the program, all the other associates, you're going to gain so much from just a little nuggets here and there that are priceless and it could save you tons of money and make you tons of money uh, down the road. So uh, get out there and definitely be a part of it. Uh, I mean, it, it's definitely worth it. Awesome. Uh, for the viewers, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these deal structure Sundays or the Q&A Thursdays or the Motivational Mondays. They're free, they're available, but you don't want to miss one because I mean, one little tweak, one little thing that these guys mention on a deal can open big doors for you. Big, small hinges open big doors. Uh, lastly, uh, if you're not aware as a viewer, because one of them is fairly new, the third Thursday of every single month for free, we have the Wicked Smart uh, sit down. It's on Zoom like you're seeing us here. You can go, you can bring deals, you can uh, bring questions, you can listen in and, and brainstorm, whatever you want to do. Randy, congrats again, Mike. Uh, congrats on your success and awesome to have you as a coach. So looking forward to seeing you guys on another one of these. Randy, no pressure. Thank you. No, no pressure. And I really appreciate all that smart, smart community has done for me. And Mike, it's, it's fantastic. Thank you. Awesome. Mm -hmm.